a good evening. This is Jan from New York City. My channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. How's everybody doing? Welcome to my evening show, my night radio style show. Hope that this audio video finds everybody doing well. You can kick back and relax. And you want to know something? The main theme of tonight's show is just about that relaxing, approaching our meals and thinking in a relaxed manner. Many times people are, they run away from meals or meal planning because sometimes people think it is a scary thing to venture out. Can I just share with you a couple of tips and tricks, which I'm telling you, they're so simple. It's almost embarrassing. Seriously, it's almost an embarrassment for me to admit that I actually do this, but I do this as a method of saving time money, effort, and even sometimes sanity, because sometimes crazy afternoons might happen business-wise, and then my mind is not focused on, oh my gosh, I got to get my dinner together, because honestly, as a person that has great money-saving goals in my life, this is me, I'm just telling you my life, I have specific savings goals, and I do not at this juncture wish to tie up my money to eating out right now maybe one day once in a great while fine but for me janet this family of one refuses to tie up money on eating out so what do i do i look for clever tips and tricks to try to make the dinner process as easy as possible now why do i specify the dinner process because let's face it that's the time of the day when you start waning down your physical energy, it's not like when you're awake in the morning and you're raring to go and you got the whole day ahead of you, you know, you could take on the mountains and everything. In the afternoon, sometimes it's hard for me to think about taking on a molehill, never mind a mountain. So for me, <laughs> I try to do all the things that I possibly could do to make life easier. But however, this is why. Those moments in the morning when you are ready to take on the mountains and you don't need to take on only just the molehills, that is the time to do your meal prepping. Now, I'm not saying necessarily batch cooking, which a lot of people may be confusing with meal prepping or whatever. I happen to enjoy, I'm just going to take this as a perfect example, Nathan's Frankfurters, okay? They are wonderful. They are a New York treat. They're New York tradition, and many people could get them now all across the country. If you've ever tried one, and no, this is not a sponsored ad for Nathan's Frankfurt. However, if you've ever tried one, you will probably more than likely agree with me that they are absolutely delicious. I have discovered something. As you know, there are many ways to prepare a Frankfurter. First of all, my least way of ever enjoying any Frankfurter, and I don't care how much money you spend on it, can be a very expensive Frankfurter. I don't believe in microwaving Frankfurter. If you ever want to kill a Frankfurter in its taste, in its texture, and you could be spending a ton of money on it, you just, if you do, if you, in my opinion, this is my taste, if I put it in a microwave when I did have a microwave, I don't have one right now, I don't think that I, I enjoyed it. It just, it's, I don't know, for me, it just killed off the flavor, but that's neither here nor there. So here's a simple step that I do. I like to work with my round cake pans a lot. You know, round cake pans make great baking trays for if you want to make yourself, this sounds crazy, an individual meal of which all you have to do when you get home is pop that prepared in the morning whatever it is you're putting in there that you could all prepared, wrap it up, toss it in the fridge. You get home from work or even if you're working from home, perfect. Pop it in your oven and heat it up. Now I've had Frankfurters boiled and like, I don't want to spend a lot of money on a Frankfurter just to toss it in water. And I think the water sometimes takes the flavor out. Is it just me feeling that way? So I have discovered in my life, and you may use this method too with Frankfurters, just a little bit of a heads up. Put your Frankfurters in one of those pans, round pans, put on spray, a little nonstick spray on top, put it, uh, spray the pan with nonstick spray, uh, spray also your Frankfurter with nonstick spray. I happen to be using the olive oil one. 
I mean, whatever you have is the one you have. That's the one you work with. What I do, I'll put in one or two franc footage, depending on my hunger level of that day. But I will also open up a can of beans, like pork and beans, vegetarian beans, whatever one that I'm in the mood for. Because let's face it, franks go really, really great with beans. Now, you're probably saying, well, that doesn't sound like such a big thing. But guess what? If you pour that in there and doctor it up with your spices the way you like it, the beans and everything, have the frankfurters on, let's say, one side, the beans on the other side type thing, wrap that up with aluminum foil, put a cover on it, toss it in your fridge. You get home from a busy day of whatever you're doing and just throw that in the oven. For some reason, the baking process gives it a really better taste, in my opinion. It caramelizes. It gives it like a roasted frankfurter taste. It really changes the complexity of the flavor. If you've never done this before, I highly recommend that you do. In addition to that, the vegetarian beans or the pork and beans, however way you doctored it up, if you happen to also toss that in the oven, I don't know what it is. Maybe the caramelization process, it just really changes the complexity of the whole meal. So right off the bat, that is one. I mean, what does it take about 15 seconds to put the whole thing together in the morning? And you could even doctor it up. Then when you go home, it's already a grab and go. It is literally a grab and go. Okay, that's one thing. The other thing, and I have mentioned this on actual video, video, like where I'm on camera, for example, and I even just did this. You know what I had? Don't laugh. You know what I had 430 this morning for breakfast? <laughs> I had a pizza omelet. What? Yes, I did. 430 in the morning. Hey, listen, if people have been known to eat cold pizza, for example, what's the difference if they have a pizza omelet? In this case, it's just lower carb. So what I did, though. Last night before I went to bed, I put my mixture together. I entered my uh, shredded mozzarella, my garlic powder. I had some fake and bacon bits I threw in there. You know, the sky is the limit when you're doing a baked omelet. You know what I mean? Of course, I sprayed it with nonstick spray. And then what I said, if I want to, when the whole thing is over, I could just toss on top of it some um, some of the, uh, whatchamacallit, the pizza sauce on top of it. Just little bits by little bits and just add a dash of extra mozzarella cheese. This is after it comes out of the oven and it's baked. I don't mind the cold contrast of the sauce cooling down my oven. But it was a breeze. Everything was prepared for. All I did was turn on my oven while my instant coffee water was cooking. So, I, I mean, you know, it's like there's no excuse in the world to have harried crazy evenings hey let me know in the comment section below what do you do to streamline your meals as a preventative measure as a preventative measure to have to call or think you have to call for takeout to me honestly a few seconds in the morning is so worth my sanity in the evening always think of whatever you're going to eat for dinner in the morning, even if it means just taking down the item out of the freezer. How many times have people made that dreaded phone call because they simply forgot to take their meat down from the freezer that morning? So try to get into the habit. This is for anyone who has clear savings goals. Hey, if you can make those other phone calls, that's not ruining your budget. Hey, congratulations. I'm not one of them. <laughs> I'm not one of those people quite yet. I admit it. Just saying, just saying. All right, so I hope that this helps. I'm going to give you an outro and then a wave. And thanks so much for being here. Back in a second. Have an amazing, fantastic evening. And don't forget to come back every single Monday through Friday for me on camera at 5 a.m. Eastern. Have a great day. Don't forget to click like. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.